Hello everyone, my name is Li Lu. I'm in the clean room of Beehampton University. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a PDMS microfluidic device using soft lithography. The first step is to create an isolated mold on a silicon wafer, and we first clean the silicon wafer using nanostream. Okay, the next step is to spin coat a thin layer of a negative photoresist SU8 onto the clean silicon wafer. Next step is to soft bake the wafer at two temperatures, 65 and 90 degrees Celsius. So in preparation for this process, we developed this photo mask of our channel design previously. Now we want to use this photo mask with this mask aligner to pattern the propelled photo resist layer. So after UV patterning, we conduct a post bake process at two steps, 65 and 90 degrees C. After the post bake process, we will develop this photo resist by immersing it in the SUA developer.
Having finished SU8 mode, now we are in the Transport Science Core of Binghamton University to complete the second part of the soft lithography process. We will cast a PDMS onto the SU8 mode. The elastomer is a mixture of PDMS prepolymer and curing agent at a weight ratio of 10 to 1. Now, the PDMS is fully cured. We can peel it off from the mold, cut it into pieces, and punch the holes for channel inlets and outlets. Now, we have this prepared PDMS piece. We removed any debris on its surface using scotch tape. The next step is to treat its surface and a glass light hydrophilic using oxygen plasma. Then we bond the two surfaces together to form a sealed microfluidic device. <laughs> 